Yes, absolutely. So, uh, well, I'm Italian, obviously. Um, I moved to France for my PhD um, after my studies. Uh, then from there, I moved to California, to Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. I was there for a bit more than two years. It was a great time. Uh, I work on uh, battery materials for lithium ion and post lithium ion batteries. Um, then I came to Germany. So I was in Karlsruhe at the Bella Lab, uh, which is a lab co founded between KIT and the BSF, so with industry. Um, and then from there, I actually went into industry, uh, into the BSF for about two years as well, uh, always focusing on electric materials for, for lithium ion batteries, for, for uh, electrification of cars. Um, and then from there, I came to the University of Bayreuth last September. Well, there were a couple of main reasons. Uh, one was the university itself. So, of course, it's uh, one of the best young universities that there are. And uh, it has this very nice campus feeling to it. Um, so there was, there's a lot of energy going on with the students. Um, and then importantly, uh, there was Beibat. So Beibat is this uh, once in a lifetime event where uh, a lot of funding came to the university for battery related research. And I got this amazing opportunity to be uh, one of the first uh, professors to uh, actually build up this Bay Bat. Well, uh, I have a lot of plans, of course. Um, you're standing in one of my first labs that uh, I built in the last uh, six, seven months with my first glove boxes and so on. Uh, so the first phase here was to hire my group and to completely build the labs. Was it challenging in these times of, of uh, crisis and uncertainty, but uh, I'm quite happy the labs are almost ready. And uh, till next September, they will be 100% ready. Uh, and then we have to, of course, do our research. We started some PhD projects. We're working on uh, new electrodes for lithium ion batteries, uh, but also for sodium ion batteries. So for technologies that are more sustainable, uh, I got the ERC uh, starting grant funded, uh, a project that will also start next September. So there is really um, a large number of exciting projects that are starting and I really can't wait to see them come to life.